What is going on guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to learn how to build modern looking graphical user interfaces in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to build modern looking graphical user interfaces in this video today. And for that, we're going to use an external Python module called custom TK inter, which is very easy to use if you have already worked with a core Python module TK inter, which is used to build simple basic graphical user interfaces in core Python. So without relying on external packages. And if you want to learn about TK inter first before watching this video, you can go to my channel and check out the TK inter crash course. But you can also just watch this video, you don't need to understand TK inter first. Uh, the only thing is that when you know how to build graphical user interfaces with TK inter, it's basically the same process with custom TK inter, just with slightly different class names and slightly different function names. So what we're going to do first is we're going to open up the command line and we're going to say pip install custom TK inter. And once the module is installed, we're going to go into our Python script and we're going to import it. So import custom TK inter. And just as a reminder here, if we're using TK inter, what we usually do is we say we have a root element, we call it TK inter dot TK. And then we define stuff like label equals TK inter dot label, we set it to the root element, or we put it inside of the root element, then we set some text, some font size and all that. And then we do label dot pack, for example, and then we define buttons and entries and stuff like that. And this is how you do it in TK inter. Now in custom TK inter, it's basically the same. But instead of saying TK inter dot TK, you say TK, uh, or you say custom TK inter dot CTK, and custom TK inter dot CTK label, but the rest is essentially the same. So we're going to start first by defining some basic parameters, we're going to set the appearance mode, and we're going to set a color scheme. And for that, we're going to say custom TK inter dot set appearance mode. And here you have three choices, you can go with system, you can go with dark and you can go with light. This is basically the way your application will look. If you go with system, it's just going to take the setting of the system. So my window system is set to dark mode. So the dark mode will be the default setting for my application. But I can also provide the light mode if I want to, I'm going to go with dark, so that my application always has the dark mode. Um, actually, I think it's a lowercase d. Uh, but otherwise, you would just pass system uh, or light. And then I'm also going to say custom TK inter dot set default color theme. And here we're going to say dark dash blue. In this case, you can also set blue and you can also set green. So you have blue, green and dark blue. Those are the three themes that you can choose from. And now we can just do a very, very basic graphical user interface. And for this video, I'm just going to have the idea of a login system. So we're just going to build a simple graphical user interface for a login system, maybe you can combine it with one of my recent videos where I show you how to build a secure login system, you can connect this graphical user interface to the code from this video if you want to. Um, and what we're going to do here first is we're going to say the root element is going to be custom TK inter dot C T K. And we're going to say that the ge geometry of the root element is going to be 500 times 350 pixels. Then we're going to define a simple function for the login. Now here you can actually implement an actual login function. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to just print um, I don't know, test or something. So this is just going to be some function that we call. Of course, if you're building an actual login system with functionality, you would implement the login logic. In this case, I'm just going to do I'm just going to print test. So nothing too special, we're just going to connect this function to a button so that we see it works. The focus is on the graphical user interface itself. And what we want to add here is we want to add a frame into which we're going to put all the stuff. So we're going to say custom TK inter dot CTK frame. And the master of this element is going to be the root element. And then we're just going to say frame dot pack, we can also use grid, but we're going to use pack. And we're going to say that it has a uh, vertical padding of 20 and a horizontal padding of 60. We're going to say fill equals both and we're going to say expand equals true. So this is going to be the frame and now we're going to add a label two entries for username password, and we're going to add a button as well as a checkbox for remember me um, into this frame. So we're going to say now first that the label 
is going to be equal to custom TK inter dot CTK label master equals frame. So not root, we're not adding it to root directly, we're adding it to the frame, which is inside of root. Um, and this, the text is just going to be a simple login system. And we're going to say the text font is going to be equal to Roboto 24. I'm not sure if I actually have this font installed. So maybe it's just going to default to another font. Uh, but you can set the font that you like, then we're going to say label pack with a padding vertically of 12 and horizontally of 10. And then we can actually I mean, we're not going to copy that. But I'm going to now add two text entries. So the username and the password text entry for that we're going to say entry one is going to be equal to custom TK inter CTK entry master equals frame the placeholder text. So we're not going to use a label for this one, we're going to just have a placeholder text that is displayed when we don't have any text inside of that entry. Uh, this is going to be username. And uh, that's basically it for this one, we're going to then say entry one dot pack padding y 12 padding x 10. Again, we're going to copy this now. And we're going to say entry two. Um, we'll have the placeholder text password, and we're going to also encode uh, the actual input. So when you enter your password, you don't want to show it in clear text. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say show equals, and then a star symbol. We're going to pack this as well. Then the button, the login button itself will be a custom TK enter CTK button with the master being equal to frame, it will have a text, which says, login, and we will connect it to the command to the function login. And of course, again, if you're doing this, actually, if you're actually building a login system, you would implement the logic inside of this login function here. So then we're going to say button dot pack as well padding y is going to be 12 padding x is going to be 10. And then finally, we're going to say checkbox is going to be a custom tk inter dot c t k checkbox, the master is going to be the frame again, the text is going to be remember me or stay locked in or something like that. And then we're going to do the same thing checkbox pack padding y 12 padding x 10. And finally, root dot main loop. That is it. So this is a very simple graphical user interface, you can see it's not a lot of lines of code. So we just have very repetitive type of defining objects, setting text, setting certain things, and then adding them to the frame and the frame itself is added to the root, then we have functions, that we can connect to buttons using the command keyword. But this graphical user interface, this is very similar to just writing it in TK inter, we can replace custom TK inter here with TK inter and we can replace all these CTK things. Uh, with the same name without CTK, and then we would have a TK inter interface, but it wouldn't look like this. So if I run this now, you can see, this looks like a modern UI. So this is actually a cool UI, we can see we have the button here, we can see we have the checkbox here, I can write stuff, you can see it's also encoded. Um, and we can also change now the color scheme up here. So I can go and say, make it green. I can run this again, and you can see now the button is green. Um, here, we also have a green checkbox. And we can also make this a light mode app. So I can say light. And then you can see this is now in light mode and green. So you can play around with that you can also set it to system, I think it's is it capital S? I'm not sure. Yeah, so it's now system it's dark because my system has the dark mode enabled. Um, but what you can also do is you can go to the GitHub repository of custom TK enter. So you can just Google custom TK enter GitHub, and you can go to the repository to look at some examples. I've downloaded two of them just to show you what's possible. It's not too fancy here. But a simple example is this one, it shows off a couple of elements, you can see we have here labels, buttons, combo boxes, where you can choose options with different styles, we can also use the check boxes here, the radio buttons, and we can also use sliders that are connected to other elements. So progress bar connected with the slider. So we have in this uh, code that is provided in the GitHub repository, you can see that the slider has a command, which is a slider callback, the slider callback sets the progress bar value to the slider value. So that's quite simple thing. 
Um, and then we also have a complex UI, so we can run this as well. This is also from the examples. Um, and you can see that this looks just way more modern and way more interesting than the um, the basic TK inter style. I think you can easily make the TK inter style like that, but you would have to do everything manually. This is by default a modern looking graphical user interface. So we can see here, we can switch the modes, dark, light, system would stay dark, obviously. Um, I don't think we can change the color theme here, but you can see how it works. You can see how all these elements look and I think we should be able to set this to green and then we see a green UI if you prefer that. So yeah, this is how you build modern looking graphical user interfaces in Python. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.